to Fearless Friday, your day to reclaim your weekend and your life. I'm Flora with the FloraSageTherapiesInstitute.com and today I have a little story that I want to share with you that illustrates the beauty of the journey instead of the destination. So there was two monks, the older monk and the new monk. And the new monk was to go to the old monk and get his assignment for the next year. The assignment for him for the next year was to carry water to the kitchen and clean the kitchen from the morning dishes and then chop wood for the next day's activities. So for the first year, he did his duties every single day. After the first year, he went up to the older monk to get his new assignment. And again, his assignment was to carry water, clean the kitchen, and chop wood. So he's like, okay. And so he carries water and cleans the kitchen and chops the wood. And then after the second full year, he goes to the monk again to get his new assignment. And he's really excited because he's hoping he can do something else. But yet again, the monk said, you are to carry water, clean the kitchen, and chop wood. And the younger monk was like, ugh, I am so frustrated, I can't do this anymore. The older monk says, well, why not? And the younger monk says, well, all I do all day is carry water, clean the kitchen, and chop wood. I don't have any time to go to the Zen garden, to go to the vegetable garden, to see the fruit trees, or to go in the meadow, or anything. And I'm, I just wanna do that. So the, the older monk said, tomorrow I will observe you carry water, clean the kitchen, and chop wood. And the younger monk is like, what? And the older monk said, just trust me. The next day after the morning meal, the older monk watches as the younger monk carries water three times from the stream to the kitchen, washes the dishes, washes all of the surfaces that, that need to be washed. After that, the older monk watches as the younger monk chops wood for the rest of the day. The next day, the older monk rises with the younger monk. After breakfast, the older monk said, now you will do it my way. You will carry water my way, clean the kitchen my way, and chop wood my way. The younger monk says, but I've been doing this for two years. I know how to do this. My way is just fine. The older monk said, you will do it my way. So begrudgingly, the younger monk says, okay, fine. <laughs> he takes the, the handle with the two empty buckets and they walk down to the stream. The younger monk fills up the buckets and starts to walk rather quickly. And the older monk says, no, you will walk very slowly one foot in front of the other, one slow step at a time. And the younger monk said, are you kidding? It takes me three times to get enough water to clean the kitchen and wash the dishes. This is gonna take me all day. And you know, the older monk says, well, it already does take you all day. So the younger monk says, okay, fine. And slowly, almost painfully, walks to the kitchen with these two buckets of water. Surprisingly enough, he finds that just in those two buckets, there's enough to wash all the dishes and clean the rest of the kitchen. Because he had walked so quickly on the day before, as well as the previous two years, it took him three different trips because he had spilled so much water out of the buckets. But because he had walked so slowly and gracefully, two buckets was all he needed. So after that was finished, they walked to the wood pile. And the monk, the older monk said, okay, now place the log on top of the pedestal and really look at that piece of wood. Notice the grain and the grains on the piece of wood. Once you look at it and notice the grains on the piece of wood, gently place your ax on top of where you think it's going to split easily. Then rear back and then whack at it. <laughs> and the younger monk said, well, it takes three or four whacks just to break the wood. Why, why, would, why would I waste my time doing that? And the older monk said, just try it. So the younger monk said, okay, fine. He takes the log and he puts it on the pedestal and he looks at the grains and he kind of shifts it around a little bit and then he places his ax on the top of the wood. 
very slowly. He brings it back and then whoosh, and it splits the first time. He's like, oh yay, this is exciting. So he takes another half of that wood, puts it on there, looks at it, gently places his ax, first time, splits. And he does it again. Three wax or chops and he quartered that piece of wood. Whereas before, he would take three or four times each time to break or split that one piece of wood. So the older monk watches as he completes the big stack of wood for the next day. And then they go and, and they eat their lunch meal. And the younger monk realizes, oh my gosh, it's lunchtime. I still have half the day left. What do I do? And the older monk said, go to the Zen garden. Go visit the fruit trees. Go to the vegetable garden. Go to the meadow. Go do whatever you want to do. And the younger monk was shocked. The moral of the story is, when you're washing dishes, wash dishes. When you're chopping wood, chop wood. Be fully present in the moment. How many times have you rushed through your day only to get to the end of the day to go, oh, what was that for? Or I'm just so exhausted and, and you don't feel a sense of fulfillment or purpose from that day because you're so busy rushing around trying to get all these things done. How many times are you trying to work on a project or something only to be interrupted by emails and your phones and the doorbell and all these other things? I've made a few videos in the past about multitasking and about being fully present in the moment. And this week, my challenge to you is be fully present in the moment and do things almost painfully slowly so that you can really enjoy doing them. A happy life is not grand events that, that happen all the time. A happy life is tiny moments that are happy, where we find joy and happiness and fulfillment that are all strung together to create a happy life. And part of that is being fully present in the moment with everything that we're doing, including washing dishes, sweeping the floor, filling up our car at the gas station with gas. So this week's challenge is to slow down and really enjoy the moment for what it is because it really is about the journey and not the destination. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media and email. And if you really loved it, please subscribe so you won't miss one single episode of Fearless Friday. Until next week, I'm wishing you a fearless and fabulous day. Mwah. Bye.